Soli, 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 solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. We shall always fight for our rights. Order! My comrades, what is the problem again? Comrade Road, what do you have to say? Great people of our great nation. Great. great. Great people of our great nation. Great. great. Mr. Chairman, sir, I go by the name Comrade Road, representing the transportation and infrastructural sector of the economy. Mr. Chairman, sir, it is with great displeasure, great pains, that I, Comrade Road, a great contributing sector of this great nation, is being jeopardized. Mr. Chairman, sir, a popular musician sang a song and he said, No matter where you go, remember the road that leads you home. But that song is not talking about our road. Because our road will not lead you home, but lead you to the mechanic workshop. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, even the shocks in our cars are all in shock of the state of our road in this great nation. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, sir, I am in pains. I am in severe pains. I cannot even move my neck. When I see other roads in other nations on TV, I bow my head in pain. Mr. Chairman, this is not how it's supposed to be. But because of this young man here, Mr. Chairman, budget that is normally released for me annually is being embezzled by this young man here. They will start the project, but they will never complete it. Mr. Chairman, on a daily basis, lives are being lost, property are being lost because our roads are Bad. Mr. Chairman, sir, I am glad to announce to you, sir, that the number of potholes on our roads are more than the number of pots of soup in the homes in this country. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, sir, look at their pot bellies in place of our potholes. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, sir, are you aware because of this drug man here, corruption, because of the bad state of our road, even the road safety now use the potholes on the road as their office. Why? Mm. Because you cannot run faster on a road that is bad. <laughs> Iniquity. Mr. Chairman, sir, time for election, they will cut me. But as soon as election is over and the rain fall, look at me, Mr. Chairman. I am in severe pains. I cannot even turn my neck anymore. Just recently, Mr. Chairman, are you aware that the Ojo Wede bears even sunk? Mm. Only God knows the next bears that we sunk mm. in this nation because of this young man, Mr. Chairman. I'm in pains. This is very bad. Comrade Earth, do you have anything to say? Great people of this nation. Great. Great. Greatest of the greatest people of this nation. Great. Great. Chairman, sir, as the Minister of Health, I'm not even held you to say anything. I'm so sick. I'm tired of this young man here. Court corruption. This is this, this. Oh God. Comrade Light, Comrade Light, let's hear you. Let's hear you. What do you have to say? Great people of this great nation. Great. Great. Greatest of the greatest people of this great nation. Great. Mr. Chairman, sir, I am Comrade Light and I'm in pain. Sir, it is with deep pain and sorrow that I'm here to complain about the situation that has turned into a tradition in my zone. Mm. Ah, because of this idiot here, they reduced my lifespan to three hours on, three hours off. Mm. Is that fair? No, sir. And every year, they sign and accept budgets worth billions to regu regularize me. But after a week of steady so power supply, they reduced me back to three hours. Is it fair? Sir. It's not fair. Sir, because of this same idiot, even in my office, I had to buy a gym. Because I don't trust my own supply. Mm. Sir, I don't trust my own, my, my own supply. Mm. Sir, look, okay, look at my brothers in the other country. In Ghana, in Kotonu, they are doing very well now. Nah. They are doing very well. Because of it, this idiot, no one respects me in our family meeting again. Mm. I don't even know why we're even bothering, bothering ourselves here. Because I know there will be no light for the people to see this program. Mm. Sir, we need help. Help us. Mm. This, this is the worst situation that has come to my parliament. Okay, now, Comrade, comrade Security, I believe you have something to say. What do you have to say? Greatest people of my father's land. Great. Great. Greatest people of our nation. Great. Great. I am Honorable Security and I represent the safety constituency. Mr. Chairman, it is with great pain and acrimony mm. in my heart that this idiot corruption have reduced me to the extent that even me, security, I'm no longer safe. Mm. Mr. Chairman, do you know 
that the money that was allocated for people to buy guns, they don't have guns. Our military men are dying in the war front because there's no money to buy guns to fight the battle. But our politicians sit under their air condition. They say they are making laws and they will approve 14, 14 million for them to be changing their cars almost every year. Do you know they now change cars? Like we change baby napkin because of this uh, useless corruption. <laughs> Do you know why we are complaining of inadequate manpower security personnel to protect the territorial integrity of our nation? Do you know the few security personnel that we have? Some have been transferred to the hands of those corrupt politicians. They are now using our uniform men as gate man and domestic staff. Mr. Chairman, I went to anchor a wedding. A soldier was used as an usher. Mr. Chairman, ah. why? Because of corruption. Mr. Chairman, do you know why we are complaining of money to buy bullets to fight insurgency? Mr. Chairman, because of this corruption, our money has been diverted to buy bulletproof Mercedes Benz for their psychic. Ah. Mm. Mr. Chairman, do you know most police stations in this country now close for PM? Because of security reasons. <laughs> Mr. Chema, we are no longer safe in our nation. Oh, what a pitiable bismar dismar. This is so bad. Corruption, you again. You have become a recurrent decimal in our nation's political ecosystem. What is your problem? Do you have anything to say, corruption? Mr. Chema, sir. I don't get time for all this grammar. <laughs> they are all hypocrites. <laughs> my jealousy, the world all of them. <laughs> That'll be my fault. During my campaigning, I go about sharing bag of rice and five five hundred and fifteen naira. But all of them eat. They chop up. All the bad words where they complain about. He didn't belly, he chop up. The security, I haven't had 15 error. Come back and 600. He chop him. <laughs> they chop him. And those money, I borrow him. I see they pay back. I never pay finish. <laughs> when I pay finish, I can't think of how I'll do the rest. They just they chat, they talk. They never know. See, what goes around comes around. You can't eat your cake and have it. Mr. Chairman, sir, no mind them. When the system favors them, na connection. When the system no favor them, they will send a corruption. Mr. Chairman, sir, I am reaping what I sow because this is. Oh, Mr. Chairman, it's now my turn to shine. <laughs> it's now my turn to shine. Hold up! Now I understand where this problem is coming from. Comrade Road, Comrade Lights, Comrade Health, Comrade Security. This problem is in our hands. I want to send you back to our masses. If we must put an end to corruption, it is very easy. Let us vote to our conscience. Let us stop selling our rights. You keep complaining that politics is a dirty game. The good people in our midst should involve in politics and make it a good game. If politics is for the bad, why would the group complain? If the good people avoid politics, you will create a room for bad people to rule us. So please, pass this message to the masses that the good people should involve in politics. Now, I will leave you with the words of Plato. He says, and I quote, The benefit of not participating in an electionary process is that you stand a chance of being governed by your inferior. Now, go and preach this gospel. Quit the blame and be the change. Go and tell this to the masses. Let's put an end to corruption. Together we can. Let's do this. Go and tell the masses. This is my judgment. Bad judgment.